Whether complimenting a meal, relaxing, or entertaining, cocktails and spirits can spark your dining and social experiences. Join celebrity tastemakers beyond the bar as we mix this week's liquid recipe for the sip. I'm Caitlin Monty behind the bar, bathtub gin here in New York City, and I'm with Gemma Cole, who's going to shake and stir us through this week's featured cocktail. What are you mixing up? As we're in New York City, I thought the perfect drink would be a Manhattan. My dad loves them. You can make one for your dad if you like. The Manhattan is typically made with rye, but we're going to use Tullamore Dew 12 Year Special Reserve. How much do we start with? Two dashes of Angostura bitters, another two dashes of orange bitters. Now those two I see in a lot of cocktails, but the next two I don't see as often, or at least not the cherry. We're only going to use a quarter ounce of cherry liqueur, and I feel like it brings out a lot of those rich berry flavors in the drink. We're also going to garnish with cherry, so it ties in all the flavors really nicely. A half ounce of sweet vermouth, and two ounces of Tullamore Dew 12. I prefer the spice of the 12 year. It's more reminiscent of a traditional Manhattan. It's always best to pre-chill your glass. You don't want to be pouring a nice cold cocktail into a warm glass. You're going to have a warm cocktail very quickly. Fill it with ice, a little bit of water, and just let it sit and let the glass get really cold and frosty. Then we want to fill your mixing glass to the top with ice. So we're going to give this a stir. Why do you stir for some drinks and why do you shake for others? A drink such as the Manhattan, we would stir. It gives us more control over the temperature and the dilution of the drink. It also means that we don't get any air bubbles or ice chips. Once you've stirred the drink and it's cold enough and the dilution is right for your palate, discard the ice from your pre-chilled ice glass. Then we're gonna pour the cocktail into the glass using our Hawthorne strainer. What is a Hawthorne strainer? It's just a different type of strainer. This one is great for big, chunky ice cubes. You can garnish this drink however you like. Some people like lemon zest, orange oils. I personally like maraschino cherries. I'm not gonna put it in the drink because we've already got the cherry liqueur in there. And here is your Irish Manhattan. It's beautiful. I love the color. It's got a lot of tone to it, and the cherry is very sweet and kind of mellow in there. It's interesting. I hope your dad will approve. He definitely will. Top of the morning to you, Dad. For your Irish Manhattan and New York's most exclusive cocktail menu, experience Bathtub Gin on 9th Avenue in the heart of New York City. And follow Bathtub Gin and celebrity tastemakers for events, updates, and giveaways that take you beyond the bar. Until next week, here's to you from The Sip.